Hey, how are you guys doing? It's me, Nazmus here, and welcome to this uh, video where I talk about Tim Sweeney's comments on the Universal Windows platform. A lot of Microsoft fans, especially, are really upset about how Tim Sweeney is regarding the UWP, or Universal Windows Platform, applications, and Microsoft's stance on it. Uh, Tim Sweeney's comments are basically that uh, Microsoft is closing down the PC platform, and that um, UWP apps are is bad for the industry. It's closing the op traditionally open PC platform and it's bad for everyone involved. And Microsoft fans are, I'm not, I'm not generalizing Microsoft fans, I'm saying the most of the uh, hate or not hate or like uh, disappointments on Tim Sweeney's comments are coming from mostly Microsoft fans. I know this because this the, the only place I see people are upset about his comments are Microsoft based websites and comments on the Microsoft based websites. And I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. I'm going to be frank. Tim Sweeney's right. Microsoft is wrong here, uh, in my opinion. My, uh, people who are defending Microsoft's universal platform in this, in, in the terms of open versus closed, I, 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 can, I couldn't disagree more. Let me, let me get this straight. The biggest uh, thing, that, uh, the, the biggest comment that the people who are defending the UWP platform are, say, uh, are making is that Tim Sweeney's wrong because Windows is still open. Windows is open as ever. Uh, anyone could make a Win32 app and distribute it any way, li any way they want. They they don't have to make an app for the Windows Store. But the problem is that's not the point. They are not getting Tim Sweeney's comments. They're not understanding Tim Sweeney's comments. They don't uh, they, they don't know what their uh, Tim Sweeney is trying to say. Understand the Win Win32's legacy. Microsoft Future is UWP apps. Universal Windows Platform apps is the new Go, API going forward for Windows 10. It's not. This is nothing like Steam versus Origin versus, uh, or it's nothing like the App Store in Apple or uh, in in the Mac, because in the Mac uh, the apps you get in the App Store are the are like the same apps you could get uh, side loaded. Like when you build an app on the App Store, you could either distribute it like normally or put it on the App Store. In Microsoft's case we have a total new update to the fundamental APIs to Windows and this is the API that's going to go forward and the one that's going forward is the one that's being locked down you, you, people say Windows is open and you could you, you could still make Win32 apps but that's the past as universal windows platform gets more mature as it get most get, as it gets more features there's going to be more people are going to want to make more UWP apps but in the, that's when they get trapped. Currently, you cannot, let me make this straight, you cannot make a universal app right now and put it on Steam. You can't do that. That's what Tim Sweeney is talking about. He's not talking about Win32 apps. Um, you might say, okay, then make a Win32 app and a universal app. That's not the point. You're literally asking someone who makes a Windows Store app to backport it to the legacy platform. That's the problem. You have to port it to another older platform to be able to distribute it somewhere else. And and people would say, well, then why don't you just make Win32 app? Okay. But Universal Windows apps have uh, like uh, benefits. And if you want to take advantage of the benefits, you're stuck with the store. <coughs> if I want to make a game for the Windows Store, I have to do extra work to port it to Win32 to be able to put it on Steam. Versus if it was open, I would have been able to make a, a game for the UWP version and that I could sell that on the Windows Store and on Steam. That's the point. That's what Tim Tweet is talking about. Windows Store is, is not the problem. The problem is the new fundamental way of developing the software for Windows is now locked down to Steam. Understand what Tim Sweeney is saying before trying to get mad at his comments. I hope I make myself clear. Thank you for listening.